I first off want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakah Kodesh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, salutations to the Akim out there, sincerely pushing his word in all sincerity and in all truth. Right, this is um, Barak Abash, and this lesson is going to be focused on a topic that we um, that we were spoke, speaking about on the road, you know, yesterday on the, on the street teachings, and the, um, the topic is it was basically going into Jeremiah chapter two verse twenty one, seeing speaking about um, Israel becoming a degenerate plant, right? You know, and the spirit led us, you know, to look, you know, the word degenerate. You know, and I believe one of the brothers mentioned that, you know, the Apostle Tahar went into it as well. You know, but for, um, for edification's sake, you know, we're going to um, go into that word and we're going to bring out why specifically the Lord said that we have become a degenerate people, right? Because when you look up the word, it clearly explains the situation in which Israelites are today, you know, right? We are a degenerate people. We are a degenerate family, right? So... Let's get right into it, you know, and hopefully this lesson is edifying to, this, to the Holy Spirit, or Kodash. Alright, so this is Jeremiah 2 and verse, let me start at verse 20. It says, For of old time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bonds, and thou said I was not transgress. When upon every high hill and every green tree thou wanderest, plain the harlot. Yet I plant thee, planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed, who then art thou turned into thee degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me all right so let's look up first of all the word the word noble people can look up the word noble here all right but the lord said he planted us a noble vine, holy a right seed all right? so the word noble is from hebrew sharak right? and it means choice species of vine choice grapes and right? vine stock yielding purple grains the grapes the richest variety right so we were richest variety of grapes, you know? we were a choice vine we were the richest variety of people you know, as the scripture said we are a peculiar treasure unto the heavenly father right so he said that i have planted a noble vine right a choice vines the, the richest variety and right? holy a right seed who then are thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Now we're going to take a look at that word degenerate right, in great detail. Right? See how that explains the situation in which our people are today. Right? So the word degenerate is it's a war. Right? And we have degenerate. And you look down. Right? It says the past participle of H5493 turned off, i.e., deteriorated, degenerate. So, first of all, we're going to look at Merriam-Webster Dictionary to see what the deteriorate and degenerate means, and then we'll go into the etymology of the word degenerate. The word deteriorated, or deteriorating means to make inferior in quality or value, right? become impaired in quality, function, or condition. Right? And the word compared mean, it means less valuable or, or, or less good. Right? So, we, have been, we are now inferior in quality or value. Than, than than what we used to be, right? So the Lord said, "I planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed." But no, you are you are inferior in value. You have become strange and inferior in value to me, right? So let's look up also now the word degenerate, and this is where the point is brought forth. Having declined or become less specialized as in nature, character, structure, or function from an ancestral or former state. Right? Having sunken to a condition below that which is normal to a type. Right? Having sunk to a lower and usually corrupt and vicious state. Right? So that's what we have become here. Right? And the point that I want to do, I want to um, stress is point number one A. Having declined or become less specialized from an ancestral or former state. So our former ancestral state was what? was being noble right was being holy a right seed right the scripture said that we are holy unto the lord because the lord has separated us from other people we are a kingdom of priests and kings right we are a holy people but what have we become now today we have become an adulterous nation we have become a nation in which harlots are celebrated are justified right are glorified 
we have become a nation where the men are no longer men, the men are simps, right? the men are effeminate, the men are committing adultery, the men are faggots. Right? So we have lost right? that, 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 that moral compass, that moral standard that made us noble, that made us a right seed, and we have degenerated from that ancestral state. Right? Now let's delve deeper into the world degenerate. Right? So this is degenerate from Etymology Online Dictionary. It's an adjective, right? We're looking at the adjective. Late 15th century from Latin degeneratus, past participle of degenerare. To be inferior to one's ancestors, become unlike one's race or kind. To fall from ancestral quality. And that's deep. Right? What was our ancestral quality? Look at men like David. Look at the prophets, right? Look at look, look at King Solomon. Look, look at... um. Look at um, what's his, what's his name again? Um, all the great men like like Elijah, right? Look at these men, yo. Look at Moses. Look at Caleb. Look at the stock from which we have we have come, yo. Right? And yet this is what we are now, right? We are a bunch of people squabbling over filthy things, yo. Right? That's how that's how our nation have become, yo. Right? If you, if you really look on the quality. Right, of our people right now is 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 a people that's that desired yo. We have fallen from ancestral quality yo. See? Matter of fact, let's get a couple of examples of that yo. Right, let's go to Hebrews eleven right, and get a couple of examples of that. Right. I'll show you where people have fallen from yo. Right, the stock of Abraham, all all these men yo. Stock of Isaac, stock of Jacob. So this is Hebrews verse 11. Let me start from this verse um, 4. It says, By faith Abel offered unto Yahweh more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh testified of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was found, because Yahweh has translated him for his, for before he's translated, he has this testimony that he pleased the Hawa. And verse 7 By faith, Noah, being warned of the Hawa, things not yet seen, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became the heir of righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed and went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs of the same, him of the same promise. Right? Let's jump down to another example. Right? This is um, verse 20. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning upon his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of, Israel, of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because he saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Yahweh than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Right? Let's jump down to another example. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. At verse thirty two, and what more shall I what shall I more say? For the time would fail to speak of Gideon, that was the name I was trying to remember, Gideon, of Barak, of Samson, of Japhthe, of David, of Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of the fire, escaped the edge of the sword out of weakness, were made strong. Wax valiant in flight, turned to flight, turned to flight the, the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life, and others tortured, not accepting deliverance that they must might obtain a better resurrection. Right? And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain were, with, with the sword. They were wandered, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. 
whom the world was not worthy. Right? They wandered in the deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these all have been received a good report through faith, received not a promise. Yahweh having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. Right? If you continue to the 12th chapter, right? it says, Wherefore, seeing we are also, we also are compassed about so great a cloud of witnesses of ancestors, basically, because these men are our ancestors, yo. This is the stock from which we are descended. Right? These great men who, who performed all these great acts through faith are the stock from which we have descended, yo. These are our ancestors. Right? It says, Wherefore, we are seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, seeing that we have been cut from such a great stock, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Yahweh the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. Right? Because we are descended from Yahweh Shai. Right? Because Yahweh Shai was Adam, and we are descended from Adam. Right? So we, we have these men to look back at, right, and say, these are our ancestors. These, this is the quality from which we have been descended, yo. Right? But if you compare what we are now as a people, right, as the um, the Ella Yashawamba always goes into, we, this is the worst case scenario for our people, yo. Our children are destroyed, being taught that they can choose their gender, right? Our women are destroyed, right, because they're trying to be men, right, because they're harlots. Our men are destroyed because they're sims, they're soft, they're, they're, they're effeminate, they're faggots, right? So we have been degenerated from this, 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 this holy stock, yo. Right, let's, let's read the definition again from the etymology dictionary. It says to be inferior to one's ancestors. Are we not inferior to David? Are we not inferior to the prophets? Are we not inferior to Gideon, to Samson? Right? Are we not inferior to these men? Right? These men who, who, who brought kingdoms to their knees, to Daniel. Right? Are we not inferior to these men? To become unlike one's race or kind. We are unlike our race. Yo. We are unlike our, our, our lineage. Our lineage did not support being homosexuals. Yo. Our lineage did not have women who are out of place. Who are, who are proud of being harlots. Yo. Who are proud of, of, of being, of being um, non-submissive to, the, to, their, to their husbands. Yo. Our lineage was not supportive of, of, of children choosing their genders. Or choosing um, what, what sexual orientation they wanted to be from five years old. Yo. Right? This this is not our, our our tradition. This is not our culture, yo. We have fallen from ancestral quality, yo. Right? It says used of physical as well as moral qualities, yo. Right? We have fallen from the moral quality from which we we have we have been uh, um descended, yo. Right? Let's get a few scriptures to your um to to to. You know, exemplify that and then we can wrap up. Right, this is Joel chapter 1, verse 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Hear this, ye old men. Right, and give ear all the inhabitants of the land. Have this been in your days, even in the days of your fathers? What's happening now hasn't been in the days of our fathers, yo. Yes, homosexuals were, were, were back in the, in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, right, but the, 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 the the way that we are now, and we're going to bring out a scripture to show it, right? We, this is our worst case scenario. This is the worst that our land, that our people have been, yo. Right? So ask an old man, has this been in your day? Right? Were the people this corrupted? Right? This destroyed? This gone astray in your day? No. Tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children and their children and other generation. That which the palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten. And that which the locust has left hath the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm hath left hath the caterpillar eaten. Awake ye drunkards, what are we drunk with? Right? Our people are drunk with the wine and the philosophy that the so called white man who has destroyed them. Right? And weep and howl are ye drinkers of wine because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. Right? So we have we, we have declined throughout the years, your each generation is progressively worse. Than the previous, yo. 
This is 2nd Ezra chapter 14 verse 17. Look how much the world shall be weaker to age, so much the more evil shall increase upon them that dwell therein. Right? We have become weaker not just in physical stature, but also in moral fiber, yo. Right? To age we have become weaker to moral fiber, and so the evils that, that we commit as a people are greater with time, yo. Right? This is Isaiah chapter 1. The start of verse 4, our sinful nation, people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, the whole heart is faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed up, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Yo, if you hey, you can walk and see our people bleached out, right? Look, look, look looking like uh, um something that, that that's rotting yo, right? Seeing just just the, the dumbest way, seeing effeminate as hell, seeing faggots, seeing and th this is our people yo, full of wounds and bruises and putrefying sores yo. Fallen from ancestral quality. That, that's the point of this lesson, yo. We have fallen from ancestral quality, yo. And it was a part of the curse, right? That, that we can bring that out. This is um, Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. What is that heritage, yo? Our heritage is being a righteous and a holy people, yo. Being a nation of kings and priests. That is our heritage. But we have discontinued from that. The Lord has, uh, has caused us to discontinue from that. And where are we now, yo? Where are we now? In the worst case scenario, not knowing who we are as a people, following after homosexuality, transgender, seeing women's um, empowerment. Uh, uh, and even the women's empowerment moving is just about empowering uh, um, harlots, yo. That's, that's all it's about, yo. Justifying harlot behavior. Right? And though even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and, will, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Right? Let's move on to the next precept. Right? And we're going to wrap it up with this. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 5 starting with verse 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which shall dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. For the way of truth shall be hidden. Right? Isn't, isn't the way of truth hidden now, yo? What's the way that our people are going now? Right? We're following after the, the, these, um, these dumb leaders, right? That, 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 that dumbass rapper that was killed the other day, XXX Tentation or whatever the fuck he wants, he wants to be called, yo. That, 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 that nigga. That's, 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 that's the type of person that our people put on a pedestal, yo. And say that they are, they are the standard of moral compass, of moral standards, yo. They are, they are the epitome of a moral standard. Right, Shinsia, Aishana, the, the, these are the, 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 the idols that our women have, yo. Right, so the way of truth is hidden, and the land is barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which thou now seest, and that thou hast heard long ago. That proves it, yo, that the level of wickedness that is present today, right, has not been before, yo. Right, and the land, and the land which thou seest now to have root shall thou see suddenly wasted or wasted suddenly yo. our people are wasted yo right and to wrap it up we're just going to bring out generate again from the um the etymology online dictionary because this is this is what i want to take away from this lesson yo we are inferior our ancestors right to become unlike one's race or kind to fall from ancestral quality yo right so we we need deliverance yo. we need to be taken out of this system we need to be taken out of the society, yo. right? And if you look up the um the, the, the verb for it, same thing to fall from ancestral quality, right? Fall off to decline. That's that's where we are, yo. Right. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, to the Holy Spirit, you know, the Rakah Kodash again, you know, double honors to the apostles, right, and the elders of Great Millstone who continually feed us in this truth, and salutations to the Akim pushing this word, right, in our sincerity. Keep pushing, shallow one.